the specific investment in research and new products is potentially revolutionary on a worldwide scale. I think we're beginning to see a vision of a completely new way of designing and managing buildings. I believe what we need is models that enable people to see the, the joined up benefits, economic benefits particularly, of working together. Our shared vision at Specific is to turn buildings into power stations and that means deploying smart coatings into the building fabric to generate, store and release energy at the point of use and that would be a game changer for clients and building owners around the world. Specific is an innovation and knowledge centre which is a UK government initiative. We're basically trying to harness the limitless power of the sun using earth abundant materials, the sort of things you might find in, in toothpaste or paint uh, to make functional devices for the outsides of buildings using rapid processing techniques so they're not only uh, useful to us but they're also cheaply made. Our targets are economic, to create a billion pounds industry, five to ten thousand jobs and by 2020 to source one third of the UK's renewables from buildings. The hub for Specific is based in Baglan which is in South Wales. It's funded by the UK government uh, through the TSB and EPSRC and the Welsh government uh, and it's linking Swansea University with a, a range of academic and industrial partners. Tata Steel is the lead industrial partner and what we're looking to do is develop products to turn into smart components for the roofs and walls of buildings. This particular building as well as uh, housing all of that practical work around component development, testing and prototyping is also itself a test rig. On the roofs and the walls of the building we actually have examples of these technologies. Ultimately the aim is to involve all areas of the supply chain as early as possible in the technology development. It's that early engagement and involvement and an openness around the innovation process so we don't find that we've got a product that won't have the required levels of market acceptance. Here at Imperial College in, in my lab, we work on fundamental studies of certain kinds of uh, photovoltaic cells that are appropriate for coding on buildings. When you're studying product development, you want to ask the right questions. Once there is some production, then it becomes more obvious where things need to be improved. I'm not just next to the specific center, I am part of the specific center. So money that I spend here in the lab flows through the fact that the specific center exists. We can take the ideas that come out of specific and develop those up into formulations. We can test them to see whether they're going to be viable on the coating lines and also whether they will work for long periods of time. I think from our side we have expertise in, in coating application and formulation work. Uh, but also for the finished product, BSF is a, is a global player, it's the world's largest chemical company and we have access to routes to market. We've developed a pilot manufacturing facility uh, which allows us to print and coat uh, multi-substrates, so that's steel, glass, uh, other metals, plastics. Uh, which allows us to get these functional coatings on, onto buildings as um, quickly as possible. It's a really vibrant place to work here. There's a whole range of different people you can come into this uh, cafe and uh, exchange ideas with. We've got research engineers. Master students, the yeah. industrial partners, very often we also have different kind of visitors from different projects working here at Specific, so we can always uh, transfer our knowledge between ourselves with everybody else. I'm from the uh, chemistry department at Bangor University and we're one of the academic partners of Specific. We're working on uh, low-cost solar cells, uh, so we collect more light and we make more efficient devices. It's NSG Pilkington. What we find is that we can't develop everything ourselves these days. You know, we, we have to work with other people. Um, there's a lot of expertise in other companies and universities and what Specific does is bring all those together. So we do a lot of R&D ourselves on, on glass and coatings on glass in particular and our products can, can make a big difference to the energy usage in a building. And We can guide the projects into areas where it will have benefit for, for us but in NSG Pilkington but also for, for the other partners. The 
benefit of the School of Architecture is that we're always looking for projects that we can realise our research ideas. We're interested in the science, but also in how these things are going to look and perform in practice. We're at the end user end, trying to make these things appeal to architects and building owners. Logistics companies, large supermarkets can retrofit them or build new ones in which total energy consumption is low, so running costs are very low, and of course they can claim they're promoting very low carbon activity. The first generation of technology on buildings is reducing the energy bill of our, of our customers by up to 50%. We can go from the lab bench to the factory floor within a week. This sort of collaboration is very important for civilization as a whole. For me, Specific's a world-leading initiative. Having buildings as power stations is a really fundamental shift, and Specific's role in it has been very exciting. Yeah.